Hi there everyone, so I just realised I didn't say hey guys. <laughs> I hope you're all doing very well today and it's time again for my favourite monthly comics. Um, I'm surprised I've actually, actually, surprised I've actually stuck with doing my favourite comics every month for like, I don't know how long it's been, like six or seven months now or something. I've tried doing just monthly favourites in general quite a few times but I don't actually buy that many things. Um, pretty much the only thing that I do buy every month for definite is comics. And also so I think more people should try getting into comics because it's one of those things that you don't really um, think about. It's definitely better than buying a magazine when you're bored. There's kind of a bit of something for everyone and it's kind of like being able to take out like your favourite TV show with you and just sit down and read it anywhere and like in peace because it reminds me of like TV shows rather than a movie. Like a book is like a movie to me so sometimes it can overface people a little bit. They're like I've got so much to read. I kind of don't really have time for that. Whereas with comic books, this takes literally 10 minutes. That's the episode of what you want to read. <laughs> and yeah, I'm rambling on myself, so I'm gonna get into it now. First one is I Hate Fairyland. This is a variant cover, so it has a naughty word on it. But I've been buying the variant covers because in the comic book shop I go to, Travelling Man, they've been having the variant covers with the uh, cardboard behind them. So it keeps them a little bit safer and it's got the uh, sleeve already with it and a little cell tape over it. So you just need to take it out once and read it and then it's in there like all safe and stuff. This is about this girl here. So yeah, this girl, I think she's called Gertrude. I'm not really good at remembering names, but I'm pretty sure that's her name. Um, she was a normal human girl and she basically fell into fairyland. I can't remember exactly what happened in the first issue. And um, over living in this fairyland place, she's become not a normal innocent girl, as you can see on here. And she's trying to find her way back to the normal land. Um, it's all very like, kind of Dr. Seuss-like in a way, where it's all like, like, made up words and it's just kind of magical and different and very creative and imaginative. I don't even know if that's a word but um, yeah so she's trying to find a way back to the normal world but it's she's pretty gross basically and she kills all these magical things and it's actually a really cool story, amazing art and I didn't expect to like it as much as I do but I definitely encourage everyone to pick this up even though it's kind of hard to make, for me to explain exactly what's going on. Um, I know that most people will like this because the story's cool. It's actually really funny as well, like a, quite a few parts have made me laugh. And this is probably the best indie comic out at the moment in my opinion, it's by Image Comics. So yeah, you need to try that. If you can't get to, if you can't get to a comic book shop because you live in like a small town like I do, luckily I work in the city centre so I can still get there every week. Just wait a few months and it'll probably be out in normal bookshops, the volume version. I can't imagine why they wouldn't put money behind getting the, the actual volume version out in places like Amazon or Waterstones and stuff like that. So in a couple of months, I'm sure that the thick volume of the first five issues will be out. So yeah, that is I Hate Fairyland. And this is by Scotty Young and Jean Francos, but I can't, no. You try <laughs> pronouncing that name. This is why it's bad to be uncultured as a British person. I'm also not very like in with different like writers and artists in the comic book world. Um, I'm trying to get used to it though, so I'm gonna start saying from now on if I remember. Spider-Man vs Deadpool, there's only one issue out so far and obviously I'm gonna get pretty much anything with Deadpool in. Um, I've been trying to buy less singles, so some things that are coming out now I'm just waiting a few months until the volume comes out, but I definitely needed this. It's really funny, Deadpool keep trying to flirt with Spider-Man and they are in the action pretty much immediately, they're stuck together and they're trying to get away from this huge thing and I just know that it's gonna be adventurous and humorous and yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So, Spider-Man vs Deadpool. Nearly forgot to mention already, this is by Joe Kelly, Ed McGuinness, Mark Morales and Jason Keith. So I'm only gonna show you three comics today. Um, this is the third one and this is Harley Quinn. I think I might have mentioned it in another one but I'm not sure. It's really getting into a story now rather than being kind of like uh, the chick flick of comic books, that's what I kind of nicknamed it for myself. Um, it's kind of like a chick flick basically because it's just like cute little stories and stuff. Well, that's what it seems like to me. But it's really getting into more of an adventure kind of thing now. Um, this is issue 24 and there's a bit of like government kind of things going on. So yeah, Harley Quinn and it's by Connor Palmiotti 
Hardin and Sinclair. Um, that's just the second names, obviously, but I'm guessing that Connor is the artist. So that's my favourite comic books of January 2016, and... I've been really getting into a bit more manga recently, so maybe I might include that a little bit more next month. Who knows? But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys can all get some comic books sometime soon and give them a try because I just think they're really awesome and it's definitely something that I think could be supported a bit more because it's a cool thing. So yeah, I was just talking with myself. Anyway, that is all. I hope you all have a really great day and I will see you again soon. I've got to break